Hey guys, welcome back to a, another video over here on the Chinese Zodiac and Horoscopes. Today we're going to be doing a reading for you guys born in the year of the rabbit. So welcome back all my bunny pals. How are we doing? How has this week been treating you? Let's find out, shall we? When we start shuffling these cards about, moving them around and seeing what we've got for you. Let's have a little look. Moving them around, shuffling them around, la 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 la. Let's stop about there. And we'll take that one from the bottom, we'll take that one from the middle, we'll take that one from the top. What have we got? Okay, so we've got a white and two black. So we're going to start with a positive and end in two negatives. And I know, I know, I know. We never like the negatives. Everybody's a boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Oh dear, it's doom and gloom. The negatives are here. But the black isn't always an attack. Just like it isn't a cause for celebration and a hip hip hooray when it's all white or there's whites there because the white isn't always all right. It all depends on the compatibility as we flip them over. And first off, we've got this monkey card. And that monkey card is in the white. So we are looking at something relatively positive. But I think right now what we're looking at is a opportunity to... I don't want to say fix something. It's more like build something. You have the opportunity to build something. Build yourself up. You have the opportunity to build yourself up right now. That's what this is. This is a selfish card. It's a self-care card. It's a self-healing card. It's a self-focused card. It's all about the self. It's about tinkering away and trying to figure out what helps you tick. This is going to come and uh, hit you a little bit, especially like with reality as it is, because you're going to be um, put in a position where your eyes are opened and you're going to see everything for what it is. And you're finally going to start seeing what you've been missing the last few ever readings. It's been where you've had your back turned and you've just kind of closed off from it. You're finally going to start seeing things differently and go, oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. That realization is going to hit. You're going to realise that, you know, you are to blame. You need to take accountability. You need to realise that this can be fixed. And now it is time to fix you. Because this is going to have taken its toll on you. No doubt. This is going to have had, this is going to have had to have taken its toll on you. And it would have exhausted you. It must have done. Surely. And I think right now, this is an opportunity for you to now rebuild yourself. You can now focus on you. You've been given this opportunity, whether you take it or not, that's entirely up to you. But you've been given this opportunity for you to now start to build yourself back up again and actually start to become the person that you're supposed to be, to be the rabbit that you're, you're, all, you're, sort of, you're always destined to be, but you've been shying away from. You've come off your path for a while and you haven't been where, you've, where, you, where, you, where you're supposed to have been. So now you've been wandering around and you're starting to figure it out and that's the beautiful thing about this is that you are now going to start figuring it out life lessons maybe this will help you in the future maybe this will actually help you as you navigate you know when things like this come up again a monkey is a doer card as well so it's a lot of doing for you this isn't for anybody else this is for you you can't look to your uh, friends or family and stuff like Yes, support. Yes, you can. You can get support from them, but you can't look to them for help or shortcuts. No shortcuts here, my rabbit people. No shortcuts. You can get support. Yes. But help to get through this. No, 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 no. That's on you. That's on you right now. We've got the ox coming in there. A lot to think about. No point being stubborn. No point being stubborn. That's the thing. You're, 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 you're kind of pushing up against it, aren't you? You're, you're, still, you're still under this belief that if you dig your heels in and try hard enough or, or try and bring it back around a little bit, you can still change things. No, you can't. Let it go, rabbit people. Let it go. There's no point being stubborn. There's no point being as, as stubborn as this ox is. There's no point. This is why we're in a negative ox place and you need to think about this so you can come to the conclusion so you can get some resolution. You need to, you need to look at this as an opportunity to build you up and to make yourself you know, better, to put yourself in a better position, whatever it is that's brought you to this point. There's no point going backwards. You're not going that way. Stop looking that way. There's no point. The problem with the ox and the boar is compatibility here may be strained if uh, 
if they get into these little spits and spats about, you know, what's best for one another and what's the best approach to take. Well, right now, the best approach for you to take is not one of digging in your heels. You need to move forward. That's why you're in this negative place. This is why you're moving into this, because you're not focusing on you. You still think that you can you can get what you want from this, but it's not going to happen. Maybe your work colleague left and got a new job. Wishing for them to come back is not gonna it's not gonna help. But it is an opportunity for you to get a promotion and take that job. That opportunity for you, you know? Your car broke down, it's been crushed. You know? Thinking and crying about it, oh no, my car, I love that car. It's not gonna get you back on the road. But it will allow you to now maybe go out there and purchase a new car, which is better, and the one that you like even more. You've got to let it go, rabbit people. And you've got to move on. Because otherwise it's not going to be... It's not going to be f- like like sort of flowing. It's not. There's not going to be a flow here. You're going to keep backing up, backing up, backing up. I get it. You're reluctant to let go. You're reluctant to move away from this place. You're reluctant to come out of your comfort zone. You're reluctant to accept the change. But you have to realise it's an opportunity for you. Or at least it can be if you see it that way. It's perspective, you know. You can cry about what you've lost or you can start you can start looking forward to what you have to gain. That's 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 what that's what sort of perspective you that's the perspective choice you have. Either cry and sulk, that's not gonna change anything, or start looking towards the future. Here comes the future. Catalyst card coming in to make a change. That shift is happening and it's going to be slow. It's going to be painful. It's going to hurt. It's going to feel like somebody is slicing bits of your skin from your body and the flaying process will leave you bitter and cold and horrible and and you're not going to like it. Boo freaking who? You stayed there too long. I don't mean to be harsh, rabbit people, but you stayed there too long. Luckily for you, the pig is a good card for you. Luckily, this is compatible. This is the all tar- this is the all-star team right now. This is the the duo that is going to make that are going to make things happen for you. The pig and the rabbit coming together. Because it is a compatible card for you, but it is a catalyst. It is a shift, it is a change. It's something that you're not happy with. It's not something that you don't is that you don't want to be involved in. And the thing is is you shy away from this. Now, this could have been all this could have all been dealt with before, but you shied away from it all. You know, the change is coming in now. You have to accept that. And it's going to be, this, this is patience right now. These two cards are literally like patience oriented. The ox will go as slow as necessary and the pig doesn't like moving at all. So now we're looking at patience and waiting this out. And you have to wait this out, my bunny pals. Because you waited in the other place too long. So emotionally now, you've got to wait it out until the pain has passed, until that upset has gone, until the heartbreak has healed. Because you're not going backwards. We can't go backwards. Say it with me, my rabbit people. We aren't going backwards. We aren't going backwards. Well done. Right. We're moving forward. And that's what this change is. And it's going to be painful. It's going to be upsetting. But it is for the greater good. It's for the greater good, rabbit people. It's been too long. In this stagnant place. Now we can get you back on your feet. Now we can get you moving forward again. And that's exactly what we need to do. And we'll find out, won't we, how you get on with that next week when we come back and do another reading for you guys born in the year of the rabbit. If you are interested, I will be doing the dragon and the snake tomorrow for Karmic Wednesdays. If you are, I'll see you there. If not, I'll see you next week when we come back and do another reading for you guys born in the year of the rabbit. Thanks for watching. Love and peace.